So, I don't really remember which part of the electrical we were on. But, I'm working on it tonight. So, I'm going to take a short video, update kind of where we're at with things, and just post it. And you guys are going to have to deal with it. And for that, I apologize. Um, where to start? I don't know. All right. Uh, let's just jump into it. All right. So, this is all behind the nice cover panel trying to keep things neat and organized but uh i had a bunch of random drops of stuff running around so that's why we're going kind of overkill and powering the ac unit with 10 gauge that's why the supply was 10 gauge because i had it in the horde um back here we have the supply here coming in that goes up into the top. We have AC out. We have a couple different 110 whips going out. So this will be for an exterior outlet. Um, we chased Romex up into here, which I know that's not the code, but I don't really care. It'll work. Um, the 110 is run. I stopped short here. This is the microwave circuit that will go up here eventually. And then we chased outlets there, there, uh, one on the other side of the coffee maker and one down to the end. So plenty of outlets in here. Um, there's also a dedicated outlet for the compressor over here. Um, and as you can see, we have the air compressor, exterior outlet, interior outlets, microwave, AC, the converter, which is actually built into this uh, WFCO box, and then our main for the uh, supply up top. So um that's how i kind of got the 110 side organized now i'm starting the organization of the 12 volts so we have big wire big wire and those go to the battery bank i have to make that more permanent yet i've been using a car charger for the temporary to keep these things topped up but now if you hear the little fan we can do a car charger delete kit and start cleaning this up a little bit and get some more zero gauge or whatever that big shit is to tie the batteries together so on and so forth all right so 12 volt wise i started making this little what i'm calling my bridge um and that's how i'm going to chase everything uh nice and securely from the front wall where it all comes down in the harness kind of uh, break it out in this thing which was in the last video so that I can see what's what. I still have my little cheat sheet here uh, and then I'm going to start chasing over 12 volt circuits across the bridge uh, and into the box here on the back. So uh, first three that I chased uh, go up over and down on this side. Um, going to start organizing these wires here um, so I have them paired up now so this is a supply and uh, an out to the driver side lights passenger side lights and the rear light so these are for exterior lights um, so that'll take care of a huge chunk of this and then this one here is the uh, switch leg for the interior lights so um, basically i just need uh, power chased from back there over to here through the switch and then back over to there to turn on the bright 12 volt lights so uh, and then this red doubled up wire is the furnace runs down catches the thermostat and goes down so in the coffee cabinet that i built i have the thermostat mounted here and uh, a bank of switches so uh, i'm going to start wiring up these switches and life should be good okie dokie so i probably went a little overkill again with the wire staples but uh to me it keeps it easy so the red is the heater the first one there is the driver's side then the passenger side then the rear lights i'll do the interior lights last that means like if i ever have a problem i kind of know what to look for i just like being organized and then we have the switches here and i believe i did interior lights on the bottom driver lights passenger lights so there we go that would be some exterior lights not too bad um sweet 
And then I did the rears on top there. So, or the rear, I should say, because it's only one light bar. So, just like that, we've got big power. Oh, sweet. The electrical is one step closer. So, uh, still definitely got quite a bit of stuff to do yet. Um, considering there's like 12, 12 volt things and I have three of them hooked up right now. Um, so I've still got a lot of stuff on temp power. So I'm looking forward to getting that all wrapped up, but that is going to do it for this video. So that is just getting the exterior lights, uh, kind of up and operational and getting you guys caught up. So next I want to work on these lights above, um, get the aluminum track mounted up, get the, uh, four lights, not just two. So it'll be extra bright and uh, get all that stuff wired up, get that chase to the switch so that when I walk in here, I can just hit the switch on the wall and away we go. So uh, I'm going to call it a night. I got to put this thing back together yet. Uh, go inside, work on a couple bids and keep the ball rolling. So uh, hopefully this is helping you guys if you are trying to get organized in your tool trailer. Um, I know I'm really enjoying the build. Hopefully you guys are too. If you are, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos like and comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.